Welcome to this demo video. I'm Sherry. Today I'm going to show you how to build up your LoRaWAN application with WISE 4610 and WISE 6610. This is the outline of this video. First, we will explain the LoRaWAN topology for this demo. Then, we will briefly introduce the WISE 4610 light demo box and use this light demo box for the following demo. Last but not least, we will show you how to configure WISE 4610 with your PC to send the data to Gateway. Also let you know where to check the received data on WISE 6610. This is the LoRaWAN demo topology. We will have one WISE 4610 as the LoRaWAN module, and the WISE 6610 is the LoRaWAN gateway for receiving node data. We need to use WISE Studio to configure WISE and node correctly for sending data to gateway. This is the WISE 4610 light demo box. The WISE 4610 is the wireless I.O. module that uses LoRaWAN protocol for communication. Let's take a look at the WISE 4610 module. This module supports private LoRa and LoRaWAN. In this demo, we are using LoRaWAN to communicate with Gateway. To receive the WISE 4610 end node data, a LoRaWAN gateway is needed, which is the WISE 6610. The WISE 6610 supports built-in node rate and QTT broker also Mobus TCP server, which provide users a lot of flexibility for building up their LoRaWAN application. This gateway also supports H-Link, which enable WISE 6610 to send WISE 4610 data to WISE Pass for connecting to the cloud side. We will explain how to configure the WISE 4610 module correctly for sending I.O. data to WISE 6610 gateway. You can see this is the wiring topology right now. The WISE 6610 is using a LAN cable to connect to the laptop. And for the WISE 4610 module, it uses a micro USB cable to connect to the laptop which have the WISE Studio installed. Open the WISE Studio and click Go to Configuration. Click Connect. And then switch to Configuration and then switch to RF Module page. And here we have to make sure the RF Operation Mode is set to lower way. If no problem, click Submit. Here are the three important notices to make WISE 4610 successfully upload data to WISE 6610 Gateway. First, please make sure that the node frequency is matched with gateway. You can know the corresponding gateway for each node via below table. Second, of course, the WISE 4610 needs to be powered on. Last, if you are using the older firmware version, you have to remove the USB cable for the node sending data to gateway. After logging to the module, we click User Modules and go to the LoRaWAN Gateway. And here you can see the model name of this gateway. Because we are using WISE 4610 NA version, so the gateway model should be WISE 6610 with N version. Click the Quick Setup. As you can see, the frequency band in this gateway is set to in the US 902-0. The frequency band is matched with gateway. Click the HTTP. We need to define the network server gateway first. In this demo, since we only have one Y6610 to receive Y4610 node data, we can only use the building network server to implement the LoRaWAN topology. So the gateway address for the network server is WISE 6610 itself. Copy-paste the MAC address from the LoRaWAN gateway 
identified on the Negro server giver setting. We can find the LoRaWAN giver identifier on the LoRaWAN gateway page. Then we have to create an end node device on the gateway. If the end node is set in ODA mode, we need to create under the transmission page. But if the end node is set in ABP mode, we have to switch to activate mode. application server and click status. And under the application server status, you can see the receive node data here. As you can see, the device address is the Wise 46 that we are using right now. And click detail for the I.O. data. Here we can see that the AI channel 0 for the Wise 4610 is this value. As you can see, the mobile raw data show on AI channel 0 is exactly the same on the Wise C610. Wise 6610 supports the built-in mobile TCP server, which allows users to use the mobile TCP protocol to get the Wise 4610 IO data from Wise 6610. So we have to create the mobile mapping table here. And the request late ID can be any number you want. For example, we use 4. And the node ID is the device address you see on the application server status. And click Save. Remember, you have to restart the application. After that, we have to enable the mobile TCP server. Click Save. Open the mode scan and check the device ID is number 4. And click Connect. And you can see the mobile raw data on AI channel 0. If the AI value is changed, you can also get the latest I.O. data on mode scan after one data update cycle. Thank you for your listening. And if you like our video, please click subscribe our YouTube channel.